Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope all you are doing. Welcome to a new video tutorial from iPinus. Today, I've, I'm been thrilling to release this topic for a really long time. So, we, get, we are actually going to talk about the best online code editors for web developers. So, if you are like a new web developer, you, you have newly come to the field and you are trying to find some kind of good resources or good editors to try, I don't know, to put your work online and just, I don't know, work on online or, or through your browser. Here, I'm gonna just gonna introduce you to the best things around the globe the best web developers code editors you can use through your browser so starting off with CodePen so obviously each one of you should know CodePen since it's very very famous and it's just widely uh, large data sets it has a lot of examples a lot of snippets it's generally for web developers which you can create HTML JavaScript and CSS snippets right out of the box and share it with other people around the world so as you can see here i am under my dashboard so you can just go in and create an account and you can get beneficial a lot of things there is also a pro version so it's gonna allow you to create a private repository but without it so all of your repository gonna post it is going to pretty much be public so anyone access or get access into the code pen, he can see your work with no problems and he can copy your source code and stuff like that. So here, if you can familiar with that, uh, if you're familiar with the tutorial that we've created, the this one with the JavaScript canvas tutorial. So yeah, as I've said, it's, it's very nice. So you can create JavaScript in here, CSS in here, HTML in here, you can put whatever HTML. Also, what I like about that, it has a lot of tons of features and tons of custom settings you can add to your project. So like JavaScript behavior, you can add a custom script from a custom libraries online from like a CDN, you can add like a CSS and you can choose a preprocessor like using the SAS or less or any other kind of CSS preprocessor. You can also use like predefined JavaScript languages like the bubble or TypeScript or LiveScript or CoffeeScript. Uh, so on and so forth. Also, also you can change or use uh, like an HTML or a custom HTML preprocessor, actually like the Haml or Markdown, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of things you can edit the header. You can edit a lot of things. It's pretty nice, actually. What I also like about this feature is so you can embed the code. So whenever like you create a repository here or you create pretty much what's called a pen, you can just take that pen and put it or snap or embed it on your web page or your website so other people can see it and interact with it on real time without jumping into the real code pen website just from your web page they can interact with things so it's pretty nice also it has like some kind of console things you can use like to display the console you can i don't know some login to the console and so on and so forth so there's a tons of features i really like that and i really really advise you to go ahead and take a look on the code pen if you haven't already as i've said it's widely used with a lot of people a lot of devs are using that and there's like daily new pickups new examples new snippets you can just take a closer look on and see the the codes you want to and you can just learn a lot of things from this just by taking a closer look on other people's projects or other people's pens so that was the code pen you need to, all that you do is just type in copen.io and here you go you can get access to that the second thing we have the code sandbox so the code sandbox is one of my favorite code editors online it's pretty much like you're working like the same as you're working on a local machine so you're typing through your browser but just have the same feeling that you are going to create that code on your local machine like using the visual studio code if you remember that my favorite code editor is visual studio code and i'll have a lot of video tutorials about it so it's pretty much the same thing going on for the code sandbox. It has the same syntax, the same everything. It has a lot of features. And as you can see in here, this cool effect. So you can just check, uh, choose one like, I don't know, rectangular in here. And you can, as you can see here, like uh, an angular boiler pass, or you can choose React. So you can just open up React and just gonna give you a ready-made boiler pan at React project. So you can just start work with it right out of the box without just going ahead from scratch and trying to set up the projects and all of the headache that comes through setting up new projects, especially on React and Angular. So without facing any errors or problems, this is gonna be like very simple for you to use through the code sandbox.io. Also, there's like a tons of other things like the view or the preacts, 
if you can get scroll all the way down you can choose plenty other things plenty other frameworks or libraries you can just use out of the box so here's the like the main i don't know look and feel of the code editor so like you have the editor or the code section from here and the left side or the right side pretty much you have your browser so you can access your browser you can refresh the browser and whenever you do new changes in here whenever you change something the change is going to be immediately applied to the browser without refreshing anything so there's like a live server running behind the scenes in here that is pretty much going to allow you to uh, like run the changes immediately after changing it on the code in here so also you can have like a created different kind of things create a couple of files create folders and so on and so forth so let's say you want to just do or start with the i don't know some kind of a simple or a very basic react application all you do pressing the open react just going to give you a new thing and it's going to open to you or give you like uh, a ready-made projects for your boiler palette you can just start using as you can see like some basic rendering here and is the browser just I don't know transpiling modules and here you go so it's just gonna give you that you can here find your project directories like the public project the pack.json you can add like libraries if you want you can add from whatever you want so add a source in here give it URL and you can just add the source in here like a bootstrap or any other custom style sheets you can download that you can fork it you can fork the repository into your account so for signing in with their account or registering you can use github it's pretty pretty self-explanatory or you do just gonna sign in put your credentials and you are ready to go so this is one of my favorite things as i said also the look and feel of that looks good with the into license thing so i like the into license with this one so as i've said it's pretty much like working on a local machine but you are working actually through your browser so it's pretty simple pretty self explanatory as you can see in here it gives you a real nice enter license like the console log it gives you the parameters that you can put in here and it's pretty pretty nice so if you are trying to do some kind of a heavy development i really advise you to go with the code sandbox like right on rather than opening a visual studio code editor you can just go into code sandbox.io open up your account and start working immediately on your projects you can share it with a lot of friends with a lot of your team or something and you can work on the same project simultaneously so this is the real thing all the cool thing that i like about that make sure to go ahead and take a shot into into this and take a closer look and try to try it and just give me your thoughts in the comments i'll be very appreciative so yeah so that was about the code sandbox the next thing we have is the gs fiddle so gs fiddle has grown lately like a super super hot thing it's super fast growing through worldwide so there was like a code pen then GS Fiddle just comes up from nowhere and here it is. Now you can use it right out of the box. It's pretty much the same as CodePen. It has the same structure, the same idea behind the scenes. But what you can do about that is it's a little bit better than CodePen. So if you're trying to create some kind of an advanced JavaScript example rather than CodePen, you can come to the GS Fiddle and you can create your own. It has the same structure as I've said with the HTML, CSS and the javascript in here you so you can also include a custom react or a custom javascript libraries in here like the copy scripts or react or preact pretty much as the same as the sandbox but still it's very like lightweight rather than a code sandbox so if you're trying like or having some i don't know like an over or stuck overflow example or stuck overflow problem and you want to fix it you can just come in here put the fix and just share it with the